Hey, Cowboys Nation. Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, your number one source for all things Dallas Cowboys. I'm Dave, and today we've got some exciting off-season news that's sure to get everyone talking. We're diving into the possibility of Cooper Beebe becoming the new starting center for the Cowboys. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Your subscription is incredibly important to us and helps us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Join our community and stay updated with the latest Cowboys news. All right, let's talk about Cooper Beebe. The Cowboys made headlines with their first round pick, Tyler Guyton, who's expected to replace Tyron Smith. But another significant move that deserves attention is the potential emergence of Cooper Beebe as our new starting center. Despite his lack of game reps at the college level, the Cowboys are giving him a shot at the center position, likely competing against Brock Hoffman and possibly TJ Bass. This competition at training camp is something every Cowboys fan should keep an eye on. BB, who earned a pair of All Big 12 selections as a player and was a four-time All Big 12 first-team pick on the academic side, has shown he's got the skills and smarts to make an impact. Even though he lacks game reps at center, We've seen players like Zach Martin move from tackle to guard without any real reps and excel. Not to say BB is on Martin's level just yet, but many teams, including the Cowboys, projected him to eventually move to center. This could be happening sooner than we thought if he wins the job. Let's hear from O-line coach Mike Solari, who has some great things to say about BB's flexibility and versatility. He has the flexibility and versatility, but we want him to focus on the center position. Great job by our draft department. You see his initial quickness and his ability to sustain the blocks and the type of competitor he is. He's a smart football player and he's another guy that has versatility, but we want him to lock into the center spot. Sounds promising, right? Now, Cowboys fans, I want to hear from you. What do you think about Cooper Beebe potentially becoming our starting center? Do you believe he has what it takes to step up and secure the position, or do you think we should consider other options? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get the discussion going. Also, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell. Your subscription is very important to us and helps us bring you more great content. Let's dive a bit deeper into the potential competition at the center position. Brock Hoffman and TJ Bass are also in the mix, making this a fierce battle to watch during training camp. The lack of game reps for BB could be a concern, but his athleticism and intelligence might just give him the edge he needs. What do you think? Should the Cowboys bet on BB's potential or stick with more experienced players? It's poll time, Cowboys Nation. Who do you think should be the starting center for the Cowboys? Type B for BB, H for Hoffman, and T for Bass in the comments section. Your vote matters, and we want to know who you believe will rise to the top. While we're at it, let's discuss the importance of having a solid center. A strong center is crucial for the offensive line, providing stability and leadership. BB's academic achievements show he's a smart player, and his versatility could be a huge asset. Do you think his quickness and ability to sustain blocks will translate well to the NFL? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Your subscription is very important to us and helps us bring you all the latest updates on the Dallas Cowboys. Help us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Let's address some of the potential challenges BB might face. Transitioning to the center position in the NFL is no small feat, especially with limited game reps. However, his performance in college and the confidence from our coaching staff suggest he could be up for the challenge. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out during training camp and into the season. So, what's your take, Cowboys fans? Do you believe Cooper Beebe has what it takes to become our starting center, or should we look elsewhere? Cast your vote in our community poll and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and fellow Cowboys fans. Let's keep the conversation going and see what the majority thinks. Now, we've got a hot topic that's been stirring up the NFL rumor mill. 
We're talking about potential trade candidates for the Cowboys as we head into the 2024 training camp. Specifically, we're going to discuss whether now is the right time for the Cowboys to sell high on backup quarterback Trey Lance. All right, let's get into it. Trey Lance, the 2021 third overall selection, is currently the Cowboys' backup quarterback. Lance has had a challenging start to his professional career with limited playing time both in Dallas and with the San Francisco 49ers, the team that traded up to draft him. Despite this, former first-round picks like Lance often generate significant interest around the league. So, is it time for the Cowboys to cash in on Lance's draft pedigree? With Dak Prescott firmly established as the starting quarterback and Cooper Rush serving as the reliable number two, Lance's role in the upcoming season seems minimal. Adding to this, Lance is set to become a free agent next offseason. This situation makes him a prime candidate for a trade if the right offer comes along. But what exactly constitutes the right offer? The perfect scenario for trading Lance would likely involve an injury to another team starting quarterback before the start of the regular season. Given the number of QB injuries we witnessed last season, this possibility is far from unlikely. So, Cowboys fans, here's the big question. Should the Dallas Cowboys consider trading Trey Lance or should they hold on to him as insurance? I know this topic is going to spark some debate and I want to hear from you. Drop a Y for yes or an N for no in the comments section below. Do you think Trey Lance is worth holding on to, or should the Cowboys look to strengthen another position by trading him? Also, let us know why you feel that way. Your opinions matter, and we love hearing from you. Now, let's dive a bit deeper. NFL Media's Bucky Brooks has reported that the Cowboys have thrown around the idea of Lance being a long-term successor to Prescott. This raises another question, do the Cowboys believe they can develop Lance into a starting caliber quarterback? If Prescott decides to leave Dallas in 2025, having Lance ready to step up could be crucial. However, if the Cowboys are confident in locking up Prescott with a new contract soon, Lance might become more expendable. Comparing Lance's potential with other quarterbacks in the league, it's clear that he still has a lot to prove. While his athleticism and arm strength are impressive, his lack of experience and inconsistent play have raised concerns. Cowboys fans, what do you think? Can Trey Lance develop into a reliable starter, or is it too risky to bank on his potential? Vote in the poll and share your thoughts. Now, let's talk about the financial aspect. If we were to trade Trey Lance, it would free up cap space and possibly bring in valuable assets that could address other areas of need. The Cowboys could strengthen their roster by acquiring a player or draft picks in return. But is it the best move for the team's future, or should we continue to invest in Lance's development? Cowboys Nation, your input is crucial. Would you like to see Trey Lance traded to bolster another position, or do you think we should keep him as a potential future starter? Head down to the comments section and let us know your thoughts. And remember, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell. Your subscription is very important to us and helps us bring you more great content. Before we wrap up, let's address some of the potential benefits of keeping Lance. He brings a high ceiling and the possibility of becoming a starting quarterback if Prescott were to leave or get injured. Developing Lance within our system might provide the stability and continuity the Cowboys need. On the other hand, trading him could provide immediate benefits and address pressing needs on our roster. So, what's your take, Cowboys fans? Should we roll the dice on Trey Lance's potential, or is it better to trade him and invest elsewhere? Cast your vote in our community poll and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and fellow Cowboys fans. Let's keep the conversation going and see what the majority thinks. Thanks for tuning in to Cowboys News TV. We'll be keeping an eye on this story and updating you with any new developments. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any breaking news. Your support helps us grow and reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. We appreciate every one of you in our Cowboys community. Until next time, go Cowboys!